retrouve. Yeah, we can because they have quorum. Free. Councilor Hafton can't uh, vote on the first vote. Of the minutes? Maybe. Oh, yeah, well, she'll be here before that. Uh, Are we good to go? Right. Welcome, everyone, to this Committee of the Whole meeting of April 12, 2023. We're starting approximately on time at 6 1 p.m. Um, members of council are present, except for uh, Holly Sanford. Councilor Sanford will be joining us in the next 15 minutes. Um, I'll call the meeting to order. And before we do anything else, I'd like to observe a few moments in silence for our beloved uh, Deputy Man Pine who passed away two, weeks, two, uh, two Fridays ago. So just a few moments, please. And I'd like to read you a card that was received from her family. So this was a thank you that was extended to the town staff and council. Thank you so much for all your efforts. They are greatly appreciated from Steve Power, Stephen Power. We have been overwhelmed with so many words of support, encouragement, and stories about mom that we meant that have meant so much to us. Thank you for sharing them. And uh, also for the donation to the First United Baptist Church. We are very grateful, Stephen, Rhonda, and children and family. So thank you for that. Thank you, everyone. <clears throat> I'd like to begin with uh, advising everyone of the live streaming of council meetings. Today's meeting is being streamed live on the Town of Annapolis Royal YouTube channel. To those present in the gallery today, by attending the public meeting of the council, you are consenting to have your image, voice, and comments recorded. Anyone who is invited to speak will be recorded, and their voice, image, and comments will form part of the live stream. The chair and or the CAO have the discretion and authority at any time to direct the termination or interruption of live streaming. Such direction will only be given in exceptional circumstances when deemed relevant. Whatever that means, thank you so much. Um, and I'd like to express a thank you at this time as well for the staff during the past week for keeping things running smoothly. Despite the absence of the CAO, everything ran well. So hooray for the delegation authority. Thank you, staff. We'll begin with um, addition to the agenda. So we do have a um, um, revised agenda, which I'm um, I hope that all members of council will see. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the additions to agenda, we have a new business under item 913, healthcare task team terms of reference. We also have item two correspondence. It's under 10.4, request from the town of Davie. We will not have a presentation this evening by the Annapolis Valley Approval Among Society. That's being deferred to another meeting. Under uh, item nine, new unfinished business, under the appointment of signing authority, we've added election date. That's being added. And uh, finally, under the in-camera session, we have an, another business item, which is negotiations. Are there any other changes to the agenda? Hearing none, the agenda is approved and presented. And you have with you the minutes of the committee the whole March 1, 2023. Are there any changes? If there are no further changes, the minutes will be approved as accepted. Thank you. So that brings us to presentations. So I think we're going to start with a presentation before we move to the director of finance. So we're here to welcome Bert McNeil. From the Basin Aquatics Association. Right. Thank you. Yes, please, please do, please do, so we can all hear you. Just like to say my condolences on the trial of loss of Pat. She was a great lady, and uh, I worked with her as well with a lot of you, and uh, it, uh, 
kind of a hard pill to swallow sometimes. Mm -hmm. But anyway, thank you. Uh, Mayor, Councilor, staff, appreciate uh, being able to accommodate me and uh, uh, making my presentation. Uh, I am the chair of the Basin Aquatic Center uh, Association. Sorry, I keep saying center. And uh, we are a registered nonprofit organization registered in the province of Nova Scotia. Uh, A lot of the stuff you guys have already had. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, next slide there, please. This is on the mission, our mission, and uh, we uh, started a survey in uh, January. And in that survey, there is a uh, in your package as well. And we we had some nine hundred and 952 respondents. Out of that, there are 88 that didn't say one way or the other for anything, but they responded to it, certainly. So, nevertheless, uh, we are our, 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 uh, our field to draw from is between Weymouth and Lawrencetown right at this moment. That's what we know. And uh, we're, uh, go ahead, next slide, please. There we go. This one here is the one I really like because we are the only pool east or west of Halifax that has a wheelchair ramp down the pool. Uh, this is going to make it, it'll be a big advantage only that we don't have to have the heist on the side of the pool to lower people into the pool. We can wheel them down and right into the pool. And uh, along with that, we have also, we have uh, the, uh, we have nets that we can put up for a volleyball net for the kids. To, what, we're, what we're trying to do there is hit the teens after school. So, and we have basketball nets that fit in both sides of the pool. Uh, there's a one, one eight kilometer indoor walking track, which is included with all memberships. Uh, the fitness center has nothing to do with us. We are strictly pool, period. Next slide. Uh, we have a draft school, uh, a draft pool schedule crafted. It's not written in stone, but uh, there are several things. There's there's water aquatic classes for adults, the after school programs, uh, swimming lessons, family swims, open swims, and we left spaces in it on purpose for birthday parties or corporate events. Anybody that wanted to. Uh, uh, have an event there. Have a year-round indoor pool for recreation as well as beyond beneficial to the community. Um, we have planned to hold special events, but I learned yesterday in my meeting at the county, the summer swim teams can't train in the pool in the wintertime. So uh, we kind of haven't worked our way around that because we've got swim teams from Middleton, Lawrencetown, Bridgetown, uh, here in Annapolis, Bigby, and our plan was to hold special events for them, competitions, mm -hmm. friendly competitions. But apparently, because they are an outdoor swim team, they can't train through the winter in an indoor pool. Oh. I know, I was surprised too. For reason? Uh, no, I know, because Lynn Longmire that mentioned it. So uh, mm -hmm. I, uh, it's kind of surprised me, but I could see. The reasoning behind it in that you might have one team that's so much stronger than another team because they trained all winter was basically what she was saying. Mm -hmm. But uh, I never got a chance to talk to her afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh, and the next slide, please. There's that draft pool schedule right there. Uh, the uh, Aquasize program is going to be run by Judy. <laughs> yes. And uh, Judy is. Uh, well versed in, in the whole program. Uh, okay, next slide. Please. Okay, where we are now. That when we, I gotta say, when we did do this up, uh, this is the performer part where we already have our. I don't have a copy of it here, but I know everybody got one with their package. 
But what uh, what we made it be in the next slide. But when we made it, we made that the now the county collects taxes from us. The county the county collects the water and the sewer. Uh, but originally, when they did it, it was meant for the county. And at the last minute change, we changed it afterwards at counties because we were with Digby County as well. And then the two towns here in Digby. Uh, you are the third one we presented to. And uh, we do count uh, Digby on the 17th of this month. So anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay, next slide, please. Yeah, that's the membership decal. Can you go ahead again, that one, please? There it is, there, the wheel. Okay. Um, it's, uh, it, it was very interesting for us to see this. And uh, we've, uh, we're, we're putting a lot of faith in it, but we're also, we, we've uh, we feel that the membership will come and is coming as it is. We haven't started yet, and uh, we haven't started to fill a pool yet. The uh, everything hinges on what money we can get. Okay, that's the so that's the bottom line. We're at the the original ask was three hundred thousand, which was anyway. And then this one, we're asking for 188,000 between the four communities. So you're looking for 188,000 from the four communities yes. and the remainder is gonna be picked up by the, the balance is gonna be picked up by the membership? Yes. Yeah, with the office? Yes, yes. So another 112,000. Roughly to meet that that three hundred thousand dollar budget. What's that? I'm sorry. You were the, the ask was originally three hundred thousand. That was the ask for this same as the one eighty eight. Oh, uh, I got you. We okay. had a we had a bit of a conflict. Then we had a meeting with the owner, and uh, we were we were cut loose. I'll say because we are independent. The owner owns the property. We, as, a, as an association, have no ties to the owner other than we will pay rent for the space we have. Mm -hmm. So now everything was, everything we've done since has been done by us, mm -hmm. the association. It's got nothing to do with anybody else or anything else. We, we deal with the general manager and uh, from there on, we do everything. So. It's all 188 is what we need. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it's taken time. We've all had issues, uh, meetings that canceled, meetings uh, we couldn't attend or what have you. But anyway, uh, our employment for the pool will be a pool manager, mechanical service technician, league lifeguard, four part time lifeguards. A biosecurity tech cleaner and certified water or aquasize instructor was due. Anyway, um, the uh, biggest issues that we've got with the pool at this time, because there's no water in it, it's going to take eight to 10 days to fill the pool. And uh, we are having, we've had a problem with the pellet offer which is what supplies the heat for the pool mm. and the hot tubs. And when it was originally put in, there was a park that should have been put in that was never put in. So what ended up happening was there were three fires where the auger feeds the pellets in because the pellets were free, free flowing. So they didn't stop to let those pellets get in the mm. fire and supply the heat. Anyway, that, that park there, there's $5,000 fix there, but that's because we got to bring a crane in. Going to lift the top off the hopper, going to replace the part, and 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 uh, go from there. And it, as you can understand, we're we were looking for the one hundred eighty-eight thousand. 
we've got to be at that mark before we can start anything. We're ready to go. Uh, it, it's just a few quick boom, boom, and then we're ready. Bars fell on the pool. Like I said, that'll take about 10 days to get to be. It could have to be a slow fill because otherwise you get all the sediment from the lines in there. Yeah. So, uh, yes. So I will answer any questions anybody's got that I can answer. Um, I'll be honest. What I'm looking for is 15,000 from the town. Okay. 15 or 50? 15. 15. 15. And what was the other three municipalities? I know Digby and Apples County. What was it? And, and town of Digby. Town of Digby, town of Digby and yeah. County of Digby. Okay. Yeah. So we've done, we've, the first one we did was a municipality of Digby. How did you do? How and did you actually, I had a really good meeting with them and uh, I, I felt really good. Okay. Okay. Uh, second one we did was uh, the county yesterday, and uh, that was the second time we'd been there. But uh, Indianapolis County. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, uh, today, here, and then on the seventeenth we go back to Digby Town or go to Digby Town. Right, Bert. When when do you uh, when is your goal for all the monies collected? The money, as far as the money collected. Right. Um. As long as we got the commitment, then the money can come after. But once we get the commitment okay. that we, we met our goal, then we're going to go. And okay. sorry, I missed the first part. You probably oh yeah, no, no, yeah, my no, 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 no. We're just uh, we're just getting back to getting okay. into that part. Yeah. Okay. Once we once we get the commitment, then we're we're going to start. Whether we have the money in our hand or not. Mm -hmm. uh, today we've just had meetings this morning there, and uh, we're starting our getting our bank account open. So uh, during that process, then it was the books, then it was payroll, then it was all the rest of it, right? So uh, right now, though, we're, we're going to be opening a bank account, nice. and uh, that will be any monies that come will go directly into that. And as a side note to that, because originally there was some concern from one council. Uh, what happens if you don't get the money and we give you the money and we give you your money back? Okay. It's, uh, it's that simple. So you guys are like the board of directors? Or we do, yes. We do, yeah. There's uh, uh, myself, uh, another gentleman by the name of Len McNeil. He's, uh, he's the treasurer. And uh, Margo... Uh, uh, Tate? No, it's not Tate. No, nothing. It's on the list here in the package. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. no problem. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Margo Craig, Margo Craig. Sorry, Margo. <laughs> and Norm Guambo and Amanda Hudson are our are, are directors. We this point in time. We we are thinking of maybe trying to get another one or two, but right now that's this this is where we are. Do you have the staff lined up? Or Some, yes, right now we do. Yeah. I shouldn't say some. Uh, the lead lifeguard we have lined up. The bio, the, the rest of the positions in there, yes, they are covered now. This we have people that can uh, step right into those jobs. Yes. Mechanical service tech. Yeah. Yeah. So you have a certified pool operator lined up. Yes. Okay, because I'll need training as well. Oh yeah, no, yeah. it's uh, yeah. Someone lined up. Actually, the people who've got our certified it's oh perfect yeah okay. yeah and and uh we have uh two individuals that are going to be doing it on their time off mm -hmm. I don't know. so and they as far as every morning the pool has to be flushed or whatever mm -hmm. right and, and uh the two that we have that are going to do weekend stuff have already been teaching Okay. These guys on on a lot of work they have to do. Okay. But yes, we have that. We do have that. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only thing we don't have at this stage of the game right now are the part time like there. Mm -hmm. there. And, uh, the hard thing, the, the challenge. And I mean, that's pools. All the pools now are going to be mm -hmm. for lifeguards, right? Yeah. So, 
Are you, do, um, are you, do you have a relationship with Life Saving Society or are you accredited to be able to offer some lessons? Have you looked that far? In we will be doing lessons, yes. Okay. Swim lessons, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because the one, one young fellow that we have right now, uh, who's going to be the lead lifeguard, mm -hmm. he's already, he's in finishing his training right now. Oh, to be an instructor? Yeah. Okay. But I don't know, if, sorry, I don't know if it's an instructor or not, but he's to okay. get his certificate, to get him certified. It's National Lifeguard. Yeah. 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 Okay. And actually, we, we've we we've supported him and mm -hmm. paid for his training for that. So that's, we, that's we didn't thing. do it, but the company, the, the owners yeah. did, right? They never did it. So. Well, this is music to my ears. Yeah. I was a big supporter of the Fundy Y. I was a volunteer instructor there. Oh, okay. I went, I, I did lunch lane swim Monday to Friday yeah. for years. Yeah. So uh, when it closed, it, it was a huge loss. Yeah. It, 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 Personally, and to the community, and to the people I know in town. Well, you know. We, uh, our first meeting I was at at the uh, county, uh, there was a lady from Middleton there. Mm hmm. That belong to the pool. Wow. So it's it's much more like we're getting inundated with mm. when it's going to open, when it's going to open, yeah. when it's going right. to open, right? And, and it's, uh, I hate to say, oh, oh, we've got to do baby steps here for, for just doing mm. baby steps. So once we get the commitments mm. that we can go, then we'll go. So but still, that's going to take time because then it's going to take, a, it'll take 10 days to fill it. And it'll take a week to cycle it. Yeah. So we were we were hoping May, but I have a mm. serious doubt. Probably June, hoping June. Right. But that's not a that's not an opening. But I hope June. So mm. how was the cost sharing determined? Like how did you come up with fifteen thousand? It's just uh, it's, it's a figure I came up with. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I asked uh, Digby. Uh, I asked the municipal for twenty five. I asked, I will be asking the town for 25. I, I know we're a small community here, and that's why I said 15. And the county, the balance is that? The balance, well, we'll go with the county. The county's obviously the main uh, supplier here. But when I was at, at that meeting yesterday, I was uh, uh, in touch with uh, a gentleman from the uh, seaweed, the Acadia Seaweed Group. So, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I haven't had a conversation to talk. I haven't had a chance to talk, sit down and talk with him, but uh, they do support nonprofits. And mm -hmm. So I will be contacting him and sitting down with him. So, mm -hmm. what I'm hoping uh, obviously, the county is the biggest gainer here, if you will, and supporter, obviously, but because it's such a bigger area. So, uh, we will be looking for a fair amount there. And how did it go with the county, the district, and the town? Like, how did those meetings go so far? Well, Digby, what the Digby News Council? That was that was a great that was a great meeting. So uh, the district of Digby. Yeah, it was a great meeting. I felt comfortable when we left there. They were very attentive and, and very interested. Mm -hmm. So, uh, town of Digby, we won't know until the seventeenth. Right. Uh, I know, but I know before with the Y, they were contributors as well. So. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> What about Annapolis? Annapolis County, there. I felt comfortable after that meeting there yesterday with them once we revised some stuff there. So it, it's, uh, yeah, I did feel comfortable. Okay. Yeah. Have you approached the province and the feds for funding? We, we are going after the, uh, um, oh, my, 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 my. So infrastructure? Uh, yeah, the, the uh, accessibility program. Mm. For equipment for the pool, mm -hmm. the wheelchairs, uh, that type of thing. Uh, all the showers, all, all the showers, facilities, the locker facilities, mm -hmm. the change facilities are all wheel wheelchair accessible down mm -hmm. there. Um, but we need certain special equipment for the pool, i.e. in the wheelchairs themselves, right? So uh, we are going we are going to go there, yes, definitely. Yes. And then there are other programs that we can go after as well. But mm. like I said, for us right now, it's a baby step. Right. right. So, but yes, we, we are going to go. So like general operating costs, maybe. Yeah. It, it's, you know, I mean, our our rent, we figure would be a year, beginning to range of $90,000. It's $6 a square foot. 
is what we pay. Your okay. lease is three thousand eight hundred, right? What's that? The lease is three thousand eight hundred a month. The lease. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Amy, I don't have that in front of me, so I. Uh, uh, but yes, it, it, it was brought to yesterday at the, at the county meeting. That's around ninety thousand. So yeah. a year. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But we're not. They're responsible. The owner is responsible for all the repairs, all the. Boom, boom, boom. All the repairs on the pool. There's well, the whole building. No, so the whole building. Oh, the equipment. Yeah. Yes, the pond, they just actually uh, one of the uh, techs that were in there uh, uh, last week. One of the uh, one of the main pumps in there is gone. So he said you're better off to pay an extra three hundred dollars to buy it than to try to buy parts for it. Mm -hmm. Inevitably, you're going to have to go all around the circle. So the pump itself is apparently is around seven hundred dollars. So there's a new one on the way, and it's just ready to be installed. Well, I'm conscious of time, but if you have any more questions, you want to get them in. I think we'll have more questions after. Go ahead, Mike. No, no, I don't. We're good. Okay, so yeah. we'll probably have yeah. more questions. And then, once we get the town of yeah. town of Digby done, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, I will be going back to Annapolis County then with the figure. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there, yeah. there's where we're going to be. Where we're going to hit the road, right? Sort of right. Thing, right? Yeah. So yeah. once we get that done, then we'll be in contact with everybody saying, okay, here's what we got from the county, Digby, here's what mm -hmm. we got from the town of Digby, here's what we got from the county, and here's what we got from the town of Annapolis. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I think your first year is going to be the most challenging. I think once it's up and established and running and people are using it, yeah. then people like to back a winner, right? So yeah. it's just yeah. this first year, it's yeah. the first baby steps. It's, it's, going to be, it's going to be hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it, it, next year, quite honest, next year we will we'll be back again. Right. <laughs> but we're, our hope is that by year three or four mm -hmm. that we can be self-sustaining mm -hmm. that's the hope so right and hopefully i mean with the, with the provincial government and the labor government you never know right well it's a, the huge push towards wellness and and well-being and preventative care you know so if with our health care services being restricted if the onus is on us to take care of ourselves and yeah. this is one way of doing it yeah exactly so, yeah, great. Well, thank, thank you, folks. I really appreciate you thank giving me the time. Um, I'll be in touch, or Mara will be in touch with somebody to say, uh, okay, here's where we are, folks, and mm -hmm. we're getting ready to roll, or I, I, I have a very good feeling we're going to roll. Yes, I, I, just, so. I really do. I, I, uh, I've had very good uh, this last meeting with the county and the one with the county to give this meeting tonight. I, I've had good feelings. Mm -hmm. so, good. Well, thanks for all your hard work. You very yeah. much. Well, we, we're uh, we've got a dedicated group, and, and uh, we've been pretty uh, we've been pretty easy with what we're doing. In that uh, we haven't gone haven't gone overboard. Yeah. In what we what we can do or should do or not mm -hmm. do, right? Exactly. But everything's been thought through. Everybody's had their input, and when you. Thank you. Anyway, folks, thank you very much. Thanks for Take care. Thanks for having me. Okay. Now we're on to new and unfinished business, and we start with the leave of absence request from Councillor Hafting. Um, first of all, just yes. public input in case. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, oh, Lawrence, we do have right? a few minutes allocated for public input, public input? and you are on here. the previous subject. Yes. Any, on any anything you want. Oh no, I, I didn't come on for that. I just was. Again, we had to listen and uh -huh. just observe, really. Okay. Um, do have experience with some of those things, and I would mm -hmm. certainly have some concerns with the way the numbers are coming out. They're not what well, I knew the numbers to be, but um, that was only me. But uh, I can't, I can't really critique that this time. It's not really reasonable up there. So you know, I just can't seem to make sure what was being spoken of, and finally, what was spoken of. So. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Good right. You used to, uh, was you on the board at the YMCA? Am I right? And how long did you do that? Quite a while? From 2013, I think. Yeah. 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 So, so you some, know like, what it I know what it takes. Yeah. And I know what it will make in a sustainable way to yeah. do that. And yes, you know, people can argue certain economic issues, but it really depends on what the ownership. I'm surprised 90,000 bucks is the least cost. Um, mm -hmm. I haven't heard anything about what the heating costs are going to be and who water costs and those kind of things. Mm -hmm. um, I got some real questions in there for those things, but uh, mm -hmm. it's not 
not really my place to. Well, it's good that we have us. town resources to That's call. Right. Always mm -hmm. good to know where they are. Thank you, sir. Okay. okay. Next, leave of absence. Let me go. You, you can't or you can stay. Oh, I can go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. Ben. Yes. So I'm asking council to uh, grant me absence so that I can go to the UK and visit my family for a family commitment. Mm -hmm. I haven't been there for uh, three years because of the pandemic, and I have a, a wonderful commitment to go to and uh, celebration in May. So I will be absent April 29th to May the 23rd. I will be missing meetings in May, and I'm asking for your permission. I don't know if there is a motion. Shall I make the motion? I uh, recommend that council approves a leave of absence for myself. I don't think I can make this motion for me. No, 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 I, no, can, I, I can, think somebody else should make the motion. Okay. I can that. So, yeah, I'll read it. I may or may not. <laughs> that council approves a leave of absence for councillor Hacking from April 29th to May 23rd, 2023. I see. Any discussion? Uh, other than I feel a little guilty because I'm going away for two weeks and I didn't come to council and ask for a small I was under leave the of impression that you had him if it was longer than three meetings. So correct. So this was why I had sent it to Councillor Hafting under okay, the MGA. Okay. If you're if you miss three meetings, then you are no longer eligible to be a counselor. Right. So just in case she's missing two mm -hmm. meetings. If she came home with COVID, for example, and could not come back to work the next week and, or ended up in a hospital, she's covered and we don't have to worry about her position. So anything more than yeah, a week or 10 days, it's just good to have um, the council's permission for leave. Mm -hmm. Well, I say have a great time. Well, thanks. I'd be zooming in like anyway. Three, three of the whole, three down. Like it's not a group. It's not the me. sub. Yeah. So if it's she misses committee, committee of the whole, council and committee of the whole. Oh, that's okay. Great. Then that's your three. Any big trouble? Is there any other things? Okay. Yes. So, I just so I need further discussion on this point. No. Question. You ready for the questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. <laughs> One could have said this was a conflict of interest. I okay. Yeah, I'm raping it down. No, thank you. All right. Okay. Yeah. And, and now the next few items, we're going to have their director of finance with us, and there she is. So the next four items, uh, we'll do them together while we have Melanie. So we'll jump around a bit, but we're going to deal with two items next, which is signing authorities, which are required, and the election date for the by election. Okay. So let's deal with signing authority first. Okay. So we, oh, sorry, Melanie. No, oh, just go ahead. Before we get started on this one. So the signing authority with um, the deputy mayor, I'm no longer with us. We only have one signing authority, so we need an extra. So the option on the floor today is to appoint your deputy mayor tonight. Mm -hmm. And um, then we would have the second signing authority or we could wait until after the election, appoint a deputy mayor at that time and then just get the signing authorities. So that if Amory is unavailable to sign and something comes up and we need something, so we have the option to still do that. And the third option would be to do deputy mayor appointment at the next meeting of council. That would be a third option. In May, yeah. 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 And so, you could have more than one, so you could have two possible additional signing authorities in the interim until we have uh, a deputy mayor or until we have the election. And I'm thinking it might be good to have two appointed in the interim just because of all these absences mm -hmm. might be a good thing. Well, I'm not going to be here in May. Right. So, so if we're going to be doing um, an election this evening, I, I, that would be my opinion to do it tonight. Yeah, I'm happy um, to do that. I'm comfortable doing that. So under our meetings and bylaws, the meetings and procedures policy, we have to do it by a ballot. So mm -hmm. I do have ballots here tonight, just in okay. case if this is the direction of yeah. council. Yeah. Are you, you would yeah, like to I'm do good. that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I just put everybody's name that was eligible on the ballot. Thank you. Okay. So we're I don't know if there was if there's any questions or you, we know what we're doing. I think we know. Yeah, I think yeah. Thank you for doing this. Yeah. 
while we're doing this, so the Frugal Mom Society list didn't come. Deferred. Unfortunately, they because we had to change the date, they weren't available yeah. tonight. Yeah. So they worked so because our agenda was pretty so heavy. It was. It worked so for them. Yeah. 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 So and they're going to come to the next time. meeting. We'll get them back. Yeah. Okay. All right. Did you get an email about the painting? But not. And I will. Um, Valentina. Yeah. 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 Yeah
And now we're down to the type of out of is there a I'll, I'll second that for okay. discussion. Right. So is is that date the only day we can we can do it the eleventh or no it has to be a Saturday Michael. Saturday. Yeah, so the, the election day has to be a Saturday. Is there a sign during the election? Grade 12 prom. It's grade 12 prom. Oh, so two of us. But it doesn't months. really matter because you can vote throughout the whole week. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, what's like great? an electronic oh, electronic oh, election is so much sure. different than, the, you know. But it's so much more expensive. Do, oh, do we have a commitment on that day as council to be here at town hall? To no, do you don't have to be oh, here at all. Oh, I don't okay. have to be here. I could do it okay. from home. And consider right. the four thousand okay. does not take into account the cost of the in-kind cost mm -hmm. of staff doing it. That has to be costed. Well, there's no. So it's a thousand. But, but is there is there is there a staff cost in this? Electric yeah, we're, two of us will be here all day on Saturday. Even if it's electronic. Yeah, even if it's What's electronic. The the, yeah, there may be someone that comes in to vote, so we have the iPad at the front. Okay, and that's included that's in the four thousand. Or oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So the, the difference with the old fashioned paper model is, is that we have to have two um, advance polls. One has to be a Tuesday. One has to be a Thursday. Right. They mm -hmm. have to be from 12 to eight. So then we have to have staff. Right. If it's in person, like the paper ballot, we have to have staff here from 12 to eight on both of those two days, plus the eight on day, the day uh, until the 7 p.m. of mm -hmm. the Saturday what? with the electronic vote. We don't have to have staff here because you can phone it in yeah. 24 hours a day mm -hmm. for the whole week. Mm -hmm. You can come into town hall, yeah, you can do whatever. whatever. Yeah. So okay. it is a little um, mm -hmm. easier on staff yeah. to do the more expensive yeah. mm -hmm. avenue, but. Um, and the yeah. voter turnout is better. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was a lot. So if you want yeah. voter turnout? Yeah, no, yeah. okay. I'm, so so we could we start the vote mandate. We would have to start the uh, voting on June 7th at 9 a.m. But if you want, we could open it like we did with the election in 2020. We opened it on a Monday morning. Mm -hmm. So do you think the conflict of the date, so just concentrating on the motion, no, the, the date dates. of the graduation wouldn't no, show either, 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 either way. way. Either way. Yeah. No. No. Be yeah. Fine. That'd be fine. Yeah. I, I I do have concerns over spending an extra thousand dollars on a single. It's it's one thing we're doing the full election. We're doing one seat. Yeah. Well, we might not even have an election if we only have one person put the name for it. Then they would just be acclaimed, and then yeah. we wouldn't That's have. True. Like that, that is true. If we and then I asked Melanie the, if no one puts their name forward, then there, we mm -hmm. have to do the process again. We go back to square one. Set and a new date. Council, council yep. sets a new date. Yep. You have four weeks, and then after you set the date, you have eleven weeks to to have it. So when's the closing of nomination? Is the the nomination of would the nomination day would be May sixteenth. One one quick question. What if what if we just kept it as is? Is that even a possibility? It's not okay. a possibility. Okay. The only way it would be a possibility is if the seat became vacant April of 2024. If there's only six months mm -hmm. left of a term. Six months. Yeah. Actually, I remember that with Owen, I think. Yeah. Our last uh, time we had to have a by election. Okay. Well, we I'm happy with the date. No, I'm happy with the date. The date's fine. So the mode of election, whether it's by ballot or electronic. Oh, that wasn't so, in the uh no, that's the why it has to be decided. Yeah. So we can just finish this motion and then discuss mm -hmm. the so all in favor uh, that council set the date for the mm -hmm. by-election of June yeah. 10th, 2023. Aye. 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 Motion carried. Now on to the mode of election. I'm okay with the electronic. Yeah, ele if it's easier for the staff, I say good for electronic. Much easier. Yeah. <clears throat> I, 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 I still have a broad way of an extra thousand dollars short. So yeah, it is it is a little bit more, but I think I mean we fight over a phone that costs us six six hundred bucks and we're we get we we're ready for the question. What what's your opinion? Oh for me, electronic. Mm -hmm. Just because of calling the should do we need a motion? Or yes, we okay. should have a motion. Yes. 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 The motion is to conduct the by election via electronic means. Yes. That would I would I would move that. Is there a All in favor? Aye. 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 Contrary minded? Nay. Would you wish to have it recorded? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that's done.
And now we have another item with, while we have Melanie with us, if you could look at 915, request for decision on elm tree treatment. That's Melanie. That's yeah, so the last, uh, I think, five years, maybe six, we've passed the budget in April. Um, I don't mm -hmm. foresee us passing the budget in April, and Angelica mm -hmm. needs to get the Dutch Elm injections ordered. So this is a partial um, pre-approval mm -hmm. for her so that she can get them ordered tomorrow. Well, we, yeah. So uh, can we have a motion so we can put it on the table? I'll uh, recommend that council approves three thousand dollars in the 2023-2024 operating budget for the inoculation of elm trees against disease. Um, so that I'll she doesn't have, have sorry, so that she doesn't have to wait for council. Could we yeah, just? Yeah, I think it's yeah. okay. Yeah, I yeah. move the council. Okay. I'll second. Yeah, okay. Discussion. How many years has she been tracing the elm trees? Oh my gosh, a long time. I, I no. don't know how many years, but it's been a long time. Okay, and but these are also built back to the property owners. So if the elm yeah. tree is on a property owner, the property owner pays for the injections. Okay. So the town builds them back for it. Okay. Um, but we just need to order the supplies mm -hmm. now and it's not an approved item. So like, yeah. Yeah. How many trees do we have left? How many elms? Well, how many just town, town trees? Elms. Yeah. I don't have that information. Okay. So so six six or seven. So yeah, yeah does, so she, does she just go ahead and treat and then bill the owners or does she have she to ask? Talks, yes, she talks. Okay. They all have agreed. They all yeah. agreed yeah. to the yeah. injections of course. beforehand. But I just, yeah. Yeah, they'll kind of save the trees. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and it spreads, so. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, this is helping. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is what we need. Yeah. 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 Both Good. Are. Ready for the question? Mm -hmm. Question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. Right. And the next item that we have Melanie for is further along under correspondence, item 10 4. So the town of Digby is hosting the NSFM conference in May. Um, can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just got quiet, so I thought. Um, anyway, I don't think uh, we have any members of council attending that. But regardless, this is my thoughts on it. Um, it's a fun after hours event. It's not uh, pertinent to anybody's uh, duties as a counselor. I know there's great networking with that. Um, but, um, you know, when you register for things, um, I know at AMA, usually if there's something like that, that we want to join, we tick it off and we pay for it. So you don't contribute to something that you're not doing. That's my mm. two cents anyway. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So this is the casino. Yeah. They're having like a little fun event. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So does somebody want to make a motion to get it on the table? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it, on, is it in there? Not in your package. So you have the, uh, the you have the document itself, the request. Yeah. I have it here if anybody wants it. If I can get the page back to the doing double duty. The other side. Okay. So you want me to make a, okay, I will recommend the council to contribute $500 for the event held Thursday evening at the Pines. Uh, is it NSFM? During the NSFM conference. And I don't know the date. May 3rd. May 3rd. On Thursday, May 3rd, not okay. the date being called. Yeah. Okay. And it's an NSFM. And the SFM and the Good seconder. I'll for, second for <laughs> Okay, discussion. It just seems not if valuable for us to spend that kind of money right now for that event. If we were, even, you know, if, we're even if we were attending, I would be like, okay, have charge me 100 bucks to go if I want to do that event. Well, yeah, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but if we was sending a counselor, there's a fee. That yes, we have to pay to it's it's 
four hundred fifty dollars to go to the conference. Yeah. Plus, you know, mileage and some meals. Yeah. But, yeah. So yeah. I think the the town of Digby is looking for help to just fund this extra event. Yeah, because I mean, we, you and I both attended the uh, last conference held in Halifax, and I don't ever remember anything come in that we had to pay extra or that there was any event like that. So, yeah. okay, that's. So cool. Conferences I go to you, if there's like a golf thing or it's some, it's an extra. Yeah. Oh, okay. It, it, we, we, you know, the town of Digby is going to get the return on having this conference in their town. So awesome. yeah, that's great, great for them, but yeah. I don't see why, I don't see us on any, any towards this. Yeah. So are so, we ready for the question? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All in favor? Uh, motion is defeated. Motion doesn't fit. Okay. All right. So I think those were all the items. Were they for Melanie? Yeah. Was that it, Melanie? That was it. So thank you so much. Thank you for all the financials. Thank, thank you, Melanie. Melanie. We'll and see thank you tomorrow. For the, thank you for the moment of silence for Pat too. Uh, thank you. Mm. Thank you, staff, for being there. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Good night. Okay, so and now we are on to uh, new unfinished business. I like that new unfinished business. We have a change of date proposed to the council meeting to April 26 at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. So, and that's the date that I'm asking to change again because <laughs> right, okay. I just got invited to attend a conference of a day um, workshop at St. Alex University. Mm -hmm. So I would prefer not to leave. With funding. Yes. Oh, I, nice. yes. <laughs> I, I requested funding and was given $600 to attend. Wow. Okay. Um, so it won't cost the town to send me, but I didn't want to leave like at nine o'clock at night to drive to St. And the Alex. subject is Main Streets, right? Yes, Main oh, Streets. So that's very, that's very useful be for our one to go to. Mm -hmm. yeah. So do we need a motion to change that date? Yes. Yes. But what date are we going to pick? Mm -hmm. So I'm proposing the twenty the 25th? Tuesday, the twenty-fifth. Mm. Okay. So so I don't know. I know you're still on vacation, so that yeah. I need to have the three of you to make quorum. And Melanie is available because if we're ready for budget, we could put budget on the 25th. If we're not ready for budget, then we won't put budget on mm -hmm. the agenda. Yeah, the 25th works for me. So the 25th works for me as well. I'm hoping we What time is it? Six o'clock. Well, it might be another long one. It's five o'clock. I didn't know what time yeah, I got yeah, off okay, work. Like is this for the public uh, hearing? Sorry. They, uh, this is no. for the council uh, meeting. Just the council Just meeting. the council meeting. Following okay. up on this one. Yeah. But we've got the first reading of outdoor fire bylaw as well. No, because that was supposed to be on the 19th. That was all advertised for the 19th. Right. And now that we have two away on the 19th, we have to, we can't have that. Could, so we couldn't push it to the 25th? No, because we have to advertise. Advertise, yes. yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I, I really I won't be here, but yeah, no, I'll leave it in your presence. So the June twenty fifth at five o'clock. So were you thinking they were gonna put budget on with just the three of us for the mm -hmm. Holly? Yeah, we can't wait for Holly. We can't wait to have four people back no, because by the time the questions into the director of finance, yeah. like yeah. I'm I'm scheduling a meeting with her, like to get mm -hmm. my questions. So I mean we all have access to our yeah. questions and yeah. Okay. No, I'm happy. And Melanie that. said she would make herself available for mm -hmm. anyone. Yeah. So, so what just time? waiting to see if the 25th works oh, for Michael. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, we'll do, I'm good. So whatever, what time? Well, not, it's not do five. Okay, so then we'll stick we with six. Five, well, we can do 5.30, but I need... No, we'll okay. just stick with six to okay. make it five. consistent. Okay. So this is for council. This is for council, yes. Yeah. So we need a motion? Yes, please. Make the motion to change the date of the April town or... Council meeting to Tuesday, April the twenty fifth at six six p.m. Do we have a seconder? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you, folks. That's good. That's done. All so we'll right. get that posted because we also have to give forty eight hours notice to the public. So thank you for that. Okay, that's done. Change of date for the public meeting. Orderly and peaceful conduct. And yes. there is a mo draft motion there for somebody. Okay, I'll move that council set the new date for the public hearing for the orderly and peaceful conduct conduct May bylaw as May 17th. Conduct bylaw. 
That's what it means. That's what it said. Yes. Do we have a second there? I'll yeah. second that. Okay. So I'm away on that one. Yes. So that means before we put the ad in the paper again, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are the three of you available and and able to attend that council meeting on the yes, next because it is council that night. That's our regular council night, but I just need no because, wonder with all things with everything. Because now we because we're, now we're going to the extra expense. Of right. No worst case it. scenario, if I was to get sick, I could zoom in. Right. Yes. I give but. I'll 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 have been home for two weeks, so and I'm, I'm good, good for that day. Yeah, I'm okay. ready. Yep. So you ready, ready for budget? Budget? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Michael, you okay with that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. And I am too. Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you, folks. Okay. Next, we have the Valley Waste Budget, and before we look at it, before we move it. I believe the uh, draft motion here is missing uh, just a part. The capital budget request is for 5400 if I'm not mistaken. Well, I don't think the IMSA group approved the, the capital budget. I think it was just the regular operating budget. So that's all they're looking for right now? That's my understanding. Okay. All right. So the motion you have is complete. So is there anybody who would like to move in? I'll move it. Is uh, it to, no, we got to move it first. Yeah. To recommend that council approve the town's contribution of 1.31% of the Valley Waste Resource Management 2023 24 partner share budget of $6,621,586.25, totaling for the town of $86,527 for the 2023 24 fiscal year. A second. Okay. Discussion. Now it's a 1.31%. So last year we were 1.03%. I did, but yeah. Due to our assessment and our you and our population growth, it goes by uniform assessment. So that's why we are now 1.31% of the budgets. Okay. So it did go up quite a bit for us, but yeah. Yeah. Due to the fact that there's we people. have more people in the town. Yeah. Okay. And so that's one of the pop like with our population growth, yeah. our contributions also increase. Of course. So is it on population growth or is it on set total assessment value? It's on uniformed assessment. So it includes population and assessments okay. for all five of the towns. And so I think Kempel was the also and was it Kempel or Wolfville Town also had an increase in population? It would be Wolfville. Wolfville. Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. then some and then some of them had a decrease. So Mm -hmm. Everybody's kind of fluctuates. Yeah, every four years. Or and speaking of valley waste, when is our uh, spring cleanup? Um, Good question. Oh, um, I see that the counties, you know, they've got their stuff out. You know, yeah, there's they, a lot of. But that's the county. Yeah, I know. Not members of valley waste. But I was just wondering if it would probably have been in the newsletter. Okay, well, I'll refer back to that. All right, let's go back to back to back to that. So no discussion. Okay. So this is we're just uh, approving the eighty six thousand operating yeah. budget, not the yeah. uh, equipment reserve policy. No, that's budget. just the operating okay. budget right there. Right. Okay. So, is it com no comment? No, I run through it. Okay. Uh, right. Makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, motion on the floor. You ready for the question? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay. Next, we have the Canadian Association of Municipal Administrators and a proposal. Uh, you have a draft motion there. If somebody cares to me. Uh, sorry, Lori. Yeah. The item four that you oh, you skipped over the value waste costing model. Oh yes. I yes, don't yes. know if you wanted to talk about that. Or that I'm just sorry. For yes, I did. Only. I did. I didn't see it. Yes, I did. I did ask for it to be put in. It was okay. just to show you the work that's being done on mm -hmm. costing each of the waste streams. So I thought it was extremely detailed, went through it. It takes a while to go through it, but actually after it, I looked at it, to me, it made sense. I don't know when other people look at it. There might be people, members of the public, especially who see it in the package, but it's good to see the level of work that's being done, mm -hmm. the costing model, like a lot of thoughts gone into it. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was one of the better pieces of work that's being done, you mm -hmm. know, with the uh, IMSA model and the, the consultants that we've hired seem to be really mm -hmm. very strategic. 
Uh, that's a very important thing. It's very important to uh, Wolfville and Kemple, especially because of the size of the bill. It's important to us, but very important that people are paying the big bucks for it. Yeah. So um, anyway, it's there for people to look at. And if anybody, any member of the co uh, public has questions about it, I mean, you look at the complexity involved in, mm -hmm. in developing that. Anyway, I thought it was quite a piece of work. And I couldn't think of any comments on it, except that it's really complicated. Yeah. So yes, that was for your information. And thanks thanks for mentioning it, or I would have skid over it. <laughs> the costing model is there to ask for. Now, back to the, oh, and we've uh, passed the, uh, okay. Now we are on to the Canadian Association of Municipal Administrators over to Sandy. Uh, sorry, we should have a motion first before we discuss. I'll recommend to Council to approve the CAO's membership in the Canadian Association of Municipal Administrators for a one year at the cost of $155. So we have a second. We have a second. Okay, discussion. Questions for Sandy? Yes, I do. Yeah, go ahead. Is this not part of the training and cost and budget for you anyway? I can see why is this uh, an exception that we need to go through. So this is a different membership. We've never been a member of this um, hmm. Administrators Association. Yeah. It's different from NSFM. Yeah. It's another group. Um, I've never, we heard about it at the last AMA conference and um, there's been a push to get more municipalities joining it. I'm not sure. I've never gone to a meeting. I don't know if it will be beneficial or not. I just know that they're looking to get new members and that's why it's a half price for the first year to see. So mm -hmm. it's um, worth it. Too. They have tools. So I, yeah, the idea, I think it's and, trying something out. Just, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't have any yeah. problem with the, yeah. the course. I'm just wondering why we're actually voting on. And it's and not a course. Or it's a, a membership. membership. Yeah. It's, Canadian, it's a national membership. Yeah. So it would be a new membership for the town. Yeah, one oh, that we have it. good to see it's if it's right. beneficial. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 have, the only information I have was the email that was sent to me, and and mm -hmm. we talked about it a little bit. So there's, you know, like there's a lot of toolkits and a lot of information there um, that you have access to if you're a member. But I'm fine either way. I I'm, I'm fine. I don't yeah. have a problem with it. I it's, it's you know you can yeah. take one course and eat that up. So yeah, I'm. I'm for a membership yeah, for a year and try it out, see what you think, see if there's yeah. value to it. So which is not in our budget, but. And staff have had a good, uh, I have to say, to get good mileage of whatever they learn. You know, yeah. we learn through them, right? Uh, so are you ready for the question? question. Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Great, thank you. Thanks for bringing that up. Okay, I'm gonna follow my agenda this time. <laughs> the wellness grant application. Very interesting. Yes, yes, this is very interesting. <laughs> so the, let's get a motion first. Okay. We can discuss, right? I don't think we need a motion. I didn't see a motion. No, There's so it's just for information. So yes. um, staff have the wellness grant came in last year and we were successful. And we had, I think it was 10 weeks of different things. We did some gardening, we did some walks, we did some um, talks and lectures and different things. So it was nice. And so this year, um, Krista has applied for it, and it will be to do some bio viability on raised vegetable gardening and small spaces. So looking at buying some stand-up garden beds to put between the ramp and this building here, mm -hmm. and then hopefully we can grow some um, fruits and vegetables, well, not fruits, but some vegetables and have them Herbs. here to eat. And yeah, great. My first question when I saw the location of the raised beds was, is it going to get enough sun? Because it's in the shadow of the, the building as the sun comes around. So if it's, yeah. is the space going to be suitable? Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. It was just, yeah, so we just put it out there to see if we get funding, if we get funding, we'll do it. If we don't get the funding, we'll try it next year. An interesting mm -hmm. change. Kind of yes. It's creative. Can you yeah. do a rock garden? That's in there. If, yeah. it, if it's too shady. Yeah. <laughs> Have some rocks. You got some rocks in yeah. here. Yeah. And they're leveraging yeah. the garden. Water fountain. So. Oh, I think you yeah, could have some water yeah. moving out there to water if you wanted to good. sit out and peaceful, relaxing garden. Good. Yeah. So well, I really hope you guys are successful. It's a the, nice little initiative. Yeah. The $2,800 provided by the town, that's all in kind. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, perfect. Yeah. And then the rest of it will come from the ground. Nice, so leveraging what we've already got to advantage, which is what they do. <laughs> and is there a way of sharing the the harvest with the food bank or people who might need vegetables more than the councillors <laughs> and staff um, well i mean it's up to you but i'm just a, the first thought I... we'll see what we get first yes. yeah yeah what the whole is not over maybe a small salad i feel them a salad pot or something i don't know <laughs> we're not we're not promising we're going to grow too much we're we're like, yeah. into the innovative garden and yeah. have some of those nice veggies <laughs> well i'm going to stop somewhere so yes yeah, it's great, great. so this could be the uh the right to the witch. <laughs> okay, lovely. Anyway, and well done. And yes, it was all signed and I saw that. But it's yeah. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, let's have the motion on uh, the request for decision, policy meetings, and then we can go to some discussion. So. Okay, I can do this one. I recommend to Council the adoption of the updated policy title to Policy on Meetings, Procedures and Presentations, Policy Number 2023-07. I'll second. Okay, so open for discussion. Who wants to start? So in the package, the RFD is there just outlining that these are the recommendations I think we've talked over from the last maybe three council meetings. Mm -hmm. um, they were all in there highlighted in yellow, so you could see the changes from the current policy. Mm -hmm. I will also state that um, all of this information is on that new Engage page mm -hmm. on our website, so you can see the current um, and the draft policies mm -hmm. there Let's for see what information what's yeah. going on. Um, and you're following Robert's rules of order, the new updated version, because there was two different ones that we had sort of looked at. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I need to pick one. Yeah. I think it was yeah. Robert's rules, and so that's what I read in here, which is good because that's pretty available. Yes. You know, you can order it from any. What I didn't see is that we kind of had disagreed about the proposal to only be able to speak twice. Mm. So we did not include that. It's, 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 it's not included. It's not included. Yeah. Okay, I couldn't. Yeah, I was only. Yeah, yeah I think with the, the small group, it's, yeah. it's fine. Yeah. 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 We talk too much. Yeah. yeah. That's, all, that's okay. But with if you had like 20 people, then that might be oh, okay. Yes. Okay. No, that's fine. no, I think it's a great to get this. Um, but we're uh, we'll be more efficient. I just had a few comments. Mm -hmm. uh, if you recall in your training manual, there are definitions at pages 10, 9 and 10. We talked about incorporating them, so I didn't see them incorporated. So under, I think that was the one, the, word, the point of privilege is in there, well, 1.6. The, yeah, that one is, but 9 and 10 had a whole lot of other definitions. So it's nine and ten of the manual, your training manual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there were all so kinds of different. Kristen didn't uh, see any different ones that were in there. Yeah. So yeah. we'll look at that again. Yeah. So it's just looking at that because yep. they look good. So um, and it doesn't hurt to go back at this several times since it's rules and. Um, and I thought we need copies of the most recent Roberts rules because the one I've got is out of date, definitely. So I think we need to get copies for everybody. The new Roberts yes, rules. Yeah. yeah. So, so we need that. Now, this does say the 12th edition. So under 1.7, mm -hmm. it yeah. says that refers to the most edition, most recent edition of Newly new revised 12th edition 2020. Yeah. Yeah. So now if we have the newly revised, does that mean we always use the 12th edition? Basically, based on how I read yes. this, that's yes. it. Yeah. So then should so we just take copy. out the new the revised 12th edition and leave yeah. the most recent edition of Robert's Rules of Order period? That's fine by me. Yeah, because okay. it's probably, I wonder how so, often it's yeah. updated. Maybe every yeah. four years, probably. Yeah. So it might even coincide with new council. Right. Yeah. So if we just take that well, and you say the most recent edition and we make sure we get it. Yes. Yeah. Would what's that nice be is this, oh yeah, but what's nice is this is telling us how do we know it's changed, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. It's fine with me if it's fine with everybody. And then at 4.5, so um the mayor or deputy mayor does not preside over the uh, uh advisory committees. Mm -hmm. So 4.5, mm -hmm. you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. We don't. No. So mm -hmm. advisory committee, I don't think fits in 
Isn't it what we had talked about with uh, just committees in general that? Well, it's just that that we don't we don't right now, uh, chair. But if it's not written somewhere, then, then you could. Then we could. I thought that's what so every meeting shall be presided. That's not our setup now. Yeah, I'm just saying it doesn't reflect okay. what we're doing. Right. So, however you okay. want to wordsmith that. Mm -hmm. um, the same thing applies in 4.6 because it's the same thing. And then in 4.7, um, just look at the second sentence we're missing. It should be understood that nobody, and if it is a concern, I'm not sure what words are missing, but it's not a complete sentence. And are the public input, are those on the every agenda for the advisory committees? Every committee. They are. Okay, good. So that's just a missing a verb in there, and I'm almost done. Uh, yeah, I just want to see if there's anything else. Committee's email, that's not common. Um, I think that was it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm uh, just getting back to 4.5. Yeah. Um, that's going to be deleted, right? Because uh, well, it's, not, it's not that, it's that the bulk of it is true, except mm -hmm. as it applies to advisory committees. Right, because yeah. uh, council is not going to chair those well, advisory it, committees. It, it's just a matter of re rewording that shall be provided over by, you know, maybe three sections, because the advisory committees have their own chair. That's so. right. Yeah. So I think it's just repeating the language, okay. maybe three sections, mm -hmm. you know, however they want to be read it. And then just on Schedule A, um, we're also, one thing we did is, um, you know, once the agenda is complete, chair states of no other business meeting is, meeting is adjourned. We're doing the same thing for approval of the minutes and the agendas, so, right? If there's no changes or further changes, it's approved. So oh, that was just a little yeah. addition. We're doing that all right. And that was it. Okay. So I think I think it, it makes sense to do a bit of wordsmithing and let, let it come back and just if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, so we don't need to adopt it today. Um, but what do you suggest, Sandy? So if you want to recommend it to council as per the motion with the with the changes with the changes, mm -hmm. and yeah. then when it comes back to council, we'll have the council changes. Look at it ahead. You'll right. have the changes done, and then if it's good to go, that's, that's then perfect. You can improve it. Yeah. Okay. And are we okay with the amendment to yes, the motion? Yes, I, I didn't think we could amend the motion. No, because that we had made that change, right? We couldn't amend yeah. a motion. So yeah. you can amend the motion. You can't. You can't say it's a friendly amendment. You have right, to. Yeah. You have to say the amended. Amend okay, yeah. we've amended it by right okay. adding. Yeah, by adding the uh, changes mentioned. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then we go to council with the changes. Are you ready for the question? Yes. yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. Yeah, we're learning something because of the course that she took. Yeah. There we go. That's what happens. She goes on a course, we go back to school. Okay. Um, next, I'll go back to my agenda. And now on to the donation policy, and there's another motion. Before we get started. I can read that. To recommend to cancel the adoption of the proposed policy for the acceptance of donations, policy number 2023 07. We'll So, and yeah. So, from the last meeting, it was asked of council had asked them to put together a drug policy. Um, and um, staff have put together one for you to review. We've reviewed um, different towns and municipalities, such as Annie Ganesh, Wolfville, Bridgewater, Mohon Bay, Yarmouth, and East Hance. Um, and all of that information is also on our new Engage page mm -hmm. um, okay. to see all of their policies that they have mm -hmm. in place. Right. And then um, staff and this one can took um, lead on, put together um, the, the draft in front of you. So mm -hmm. did a good job, Al. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, discussion? Questions? Uh, the use of donated funds. And here, the, the. What number are you at? Six, six. two. Uh, it just says that the town must retain active control over the use of donated funds, meaning it must act, active, actively oversee the use of donated funds. 
So when I read through it, there is nothing on it that's if somebody donates I don't know, greening of Lower St. George. I'm going to give you $5,000. That's what I want to see. How does that work in this? So then I think the guidelines are provided in section 5.3 of this policy. So 5.3 says the specific purpose can only be accepted by the town um, where council is authorized to accept. Like it has to be a specific purpose or fundraising campaign for the donation to be established. So we don't have an established greening thing going on then we can't accept a donation for the greening. Or if you were going to say put benches along the rail or our trail system, and somebody says I'm going to donate for a bench, but we don't yeah. have an established program. Like nothing for stops us from establishing one. Right. But then it would go to council, wouldn't it, for yeah. approval, yeah. and then we could decide. We, the, we would have to yes, so we would have to establish it before we can accept any donations for it. Or well, it would come to us like the greening would be pretty easy under existing budgets, yeah. right? So like if it's we an line item budgets. already in our budget. Yeah. Then it just goes to that budget only. Okay. Right. It goes to a revenue stream. So, like if it's for beautification, then it would go into that stream and would not have to come to council. But if it's something out, out of any of our budget lines that we currently have, then it would have to come to council to see if they're willing to accept it. And then the pop, then it would be added in. Is Okay, what I'm and, and with that from conversations from Ken. Right. Yeah. And, and with that acceptance, then staff would actively report, oversee. It, it, yeah, they would sort of take care of it. Like in yeah. and money do it. now, money comes in mm -hmm. and all kinds of stuff. Well, I'm thinking like, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking like uh public works or you know, they would step up and you know it would be under the staff guidance only. Correct. Okay. Okay. So that, I think that was an, well, a past issue. So yeah, I think there should be some back and forth with the donor, right? Yes. I mean, there should be some conversation. Yes. Oh yeah, with the CAO, right? So there yes. should be. I I think the the direction should be through the CAO because nobody from the public or council members mm -hmm. have the right to direct staff mm -hmm. to do anything, mm -hmm. right? Right. So if there is money funded through the town, then the CAO would be the contact for the donation. And then the CIO would direct the staff to do the work. Right. And the guidance Just, of, of directing is basically done on our budget lines because if it's not fitting that, then we have to get approval from council. If it's already there. And then, then, there, and then, then that's when you come in. Okay. Like the Canada Hopes button. That's a good example where yes. if we agree we're going to set up one. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Yeah. Thanks. I, I was surprised we didn't have a donation policy. Yes. And I'm, and I'm glad we do, we're about to have one. Yeah. It protects well, both parties. Really, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and this is just your first look at it too. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, like I said, it's just a draft. If there's looking for input or mm -hmm. if you're... That makes sense. The no. uh, donor recognition. Uh, can you kind of run us through that number what nine? Number nine. Number nine, because I was reading it and going, okay, so. And this was all, you know, kind of before I went on vacation. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, it, it seems, it obviously seemed like it was pulled from another. It was. We used West Hans a lot because okay. we found that there's, because it talked about the CRA and the tax receipts and how it was a gift and. Connie so, Nolan would have done that policy. Right. Yeah. So yeah. which nine, which one? Or well, all the whole thing, because I'm just trying to get my head around it. So if, so if somebody donates a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. So we're saying that we're you're giving a, a receipt for 10% of that? No. So nine one, if I understand this correctly, is if it's um a gift of something that's Non-monetary? Non-monetary. Okay. Oh, okay. So like okay. if like a clock a, tower. Right. Face. Yes. Or and we can say. recognize the person or group. Correct. For the value of 10% of what it is. Right. Hmm. Okay. That was pretty made of that. Is that correct? That's kind of CR. I think it's 10%. This is right from the CRA. Yeah. Okay. 
and it's going to be having a fair market value equal to or 10% less of the amount of the gift, right? So fair market value is, is what we can, like if we were selling land, we have to sell it at fair market value. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if we're getting a gift of an item, it has to be at fair market value. They can't say, here's a statue, it's worth a hundred thousand right. dollars. Right. We want a receipt we for hundred thousand. It would have to be the receipt would have to be in the fair market value right. or 10% less. Or yeah, like a bench would be another example. Somebody gets a bench, it's cost a thousand dollars. Right. You have the fair market value because you have the cost of what it was. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. That's the other one. And appraisals are expensive. So in here, I'm suggesting that we that don't pay for that. that. Yes. Pay. Yeah. yeah. Because then we don't want to be out money to yeah. accept appraisals. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if it's something that you know, we want to accept as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I was just trying to get my head around the old CRE. So. Yeah, I had to read section nine several times. Me, yeah. And is that the understanding that you have as well? Yes, yes. But, but, I, but I had to read it several times. Yeah. It wasn't me to think of this. No. <laughs> but in case we need it, you'd have to work your way through this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so. It was a good, nice job. Yeah, you did a really good job. Glad you did this. So are you ready for the question? Question. So well, this is the recommendation to cancel, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, sorry, Mike? Uh, yes. Aye. Motion carried. Okay. And we'll see what the public make of it. So people pick up on it and take a look at it. Yeah. Sure. And, and so this is just a policy. Right. Yeah. So policy just has seven days. So we gave it to you seven days before you're looking at it. Our next council meeting is seven days from now. Right. So at council, if it's approved, then it would be adopted mm -hmm. at that yeah. time. Okay. Thank yep. you for their money. All right. Okay, good. All right, back to the agenda. <laughs> the outdoor burning outdoor bylaw. Burning, by mm. burning issue. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do we have a motion? Let's get a motion on the floor before we discuss. Um, okay. Let's go to the last. No, I don't speak about it. Oh, yeah. Right there. Thank you. I recommend to council first reading of the updated outdoor fire bylaw on April 20. No, that's changed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's the 25th, April 25th. It's not 26. Do you still have time to advertise that? No, that's the date of the. The bylaw. Oh, the the first reading. Just the first the first reading. Okay, so sorry. I recommend to council first reading of the updated outdoor fire bylaw on April twenty fifth, twenty twenty three. So it's not the twenty sixth. No, because you guys are having council on the twenty fifth. Right. I get it. I'll send it. <laughs> <laughs> All and right. For discussion. And of course, this is just for first reading. Right. And then if council approves the first reading. Then it goes out for second reading and the public hearing will be in May for the comments from the public if there are any concerns or comments on this bylaw. Now I understand there's some grandfathering provisions, right? With the with this bylaw. Well, with any bylaw, there's grandfathering yeah, provisions. Yeah. It's not just this bylaw, any yeah. bylaw or policy. So any anybody that has anything that's under currently that is compliant will be compliant going forward right no matter what right unless they tear down and it's no longer in existence for six weeks then if they wanted to put it back in it would be non-compliant so we can expect some public reaction mm -hmm. to this bylaw uh, to the proposed changes so any discussion well it's good to see that this has been reviewed by the chief of police and the Annapolis Fire Department. Um, so the um, definitions were increased because under the last uh, bylaw, there was um, some kind of points that were brought into contention. Um, and so they have been updated to hopefully be more clear. Um, there's a lot of people that have propane fire pits and tables that under the last bylaw were not allowed in town. So we have included that they are now allowed in town. We also had um, quite a few um, fireplaces in town that were not 
allowed in town, but now if they have the spark when you say fire arresters, arresters fireplaces, you're talking about a in burn, little burn barrel things? Yes, those are not allowed. They were they were not allowed in the last bylaw. Okay, so not fire pits. Fire pits were not. There was no outdoor fire burning in mm -hmm. the last one. None. So, so now, now we're allowed to have the little gas one. We're including propane. Well, and, you can have the... and the wood furnaces have to have a chimney higher than such so many feet. And they have to have the spark arresters in it so that sparks cannot, we don't want to okay. use our tree. And, and that's that. Uh, those are basically used to like heat sheds and stuff like that. That kind of furnish you need. No, these are just outdoor fireplaces. So, okay. for example, okay. um, the Hillsdale House Inn has one in the backyard. I don't yeah. know if they ever use it. I know which one. I know, but one there's a like quite a gorgeous-looking big yeah. fireplace that's been there forever. Yeah. Um, so that had, you know, now it's saying that it has to have the the mesh, the mesh and, the and the stuff to prevent any fires, like any sparks that would come mm -hmm. out and for catch sure. the fires. Mm -hmm. So the chimneys were not included before? No. Okay. So they're so, captured this time. So now we're trying to capture all the things that we have people had, are using. That people yeah, are people using. Like, yeah. And I thought chimneys were, and I thought that uh, enclosed fire, not pits, but I'm not even going to say a barrel, but it's burning unit. Yeah. But now they are on this. So this is why we're fixing our definitions and including so that um, as time times go, things change, right? So yeah. um, and propane is a cleaner burn than, you know, the wood and different things like that. So mm -hmm. propane, safer. propane is not a wood. No, but now they're, we've included them as the propane fire pit tables and they there's a maximum size you can have and and all of that. And what about the Montreal overhead heaters? Hmm. I don't think we had mentioned those. Either. That's not, they're not but really, they're, they're fire. They're, they're just like they're burning. Yeah, yeah they're it's just, just it doesn't give off smoke. No, it's propane. Well, I don't know the, yeah. the difference between a, a propane no... table is and a barbecue when you get into the, mm -hmm. the overhead things, right? Well, a, a propane barbecue also is just like you cook supper and then you turn it off. You know, use it for a heat source, but right. Oh, yes. yeah. I think the, the concern has been an open fire that um mm -hmm. even if you put dry wood on it, it's gonna smoke. Mm -hmm. And then and you're it's gonna get spark. the billowing smoke, not so much the, the sparks because you, you contain that, it's the smoke going into people's windows and, and mm -hmm. you know it, it's polluting, right? And mm -hmm. I think that's what we need to avoid. Yeah. But the problem <laughs> is also though that if you have a wood stove. Mm -hmm. In the winter, you're, you're, you're going to have the same still, thing. You're going to still have smoke. <clears throat> now it will be higher up, but if it's a a low um, low pressure, low pressure, then the smoke will come down. It's not as often that it would happen as yeah. anything else. But mm. so, question is: Are you ready to let the swan fly and see what the reaction is? Well, I. I think it's good that all this stuff is uh, been good. added it's because I, I do think that there's probably been a few people that uh, had yeah. the odd fires that maybe didn't read the policy that good. So I'm happy to, yeah, put it out there to the public and mm -hmm. see what what they think. So or, pretty, oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and if you think it's going to be, you know, can, if if you think it's, we could also wait until we have a full council. So let me. Let no, me just, just summer's coming. I no, think you're going to need to get this. Okay. Out there. I just, you know what I mean? Like, if, oh, yeah. No, no. I think I think there'll be interest in this simply yeah. because oh, a yeah. lot of us have fire burning stuff. Yeah. What were you going to say, Michael? Well, I'm just, okay. So I'm just going into the, what we had prior, right? And, and then here we, I just wanted to verify this because it says that you can have an outdoor. Where are you? 3B. So we can. Yeah. yeah. Any landowner occupy. Okay. Outdoor fire. Unless contained in an acceptable outdoor fire pit, outdoor fireplace, other wood burning appliances, or an acceptable propane fire pit table, section four. That was in the previous bylaw. Mm -hmm. No, I think that's what he added. Well, it's not yellowed. 
So this is this is existing. The yellow three, is where he made the three B. Yeah, three B. Because mm -hmm. I know that was there. Because I have a outdoor fire bed. Mm -hmm. So I want to make darn sure that I have to be using this. Oh. And I spent a lot of money on that thing, darn thing. Yes, uh, other word for name. Yeah. But then that now we added that the uh, acceptable outdoor fire pit outdoor fireplaces have to have a half inch or 12 millimeter spark arrestor. Right. Which mine does. Okay. So I was just kind of there. I didn't want a confusion saying that we did we allow fire allow pits it, if, right. it, if it was, it was allowed. Yeah. But Correct. We've added a little bit more to it. Yeah. Yeah. We are not allowing though uh, outdoor wood furnaces. Correct. Those are still not allowed. Okay. And people can't burn brush, leaves and twigs and things like that. They can't do that. I think that's also in here. Yeah. To that's allow that to happen? Garden, no, garden right. waste. Garden waste, I think, is listed that there. Goes that goes to our allowed. Yeah. I think under four. That's where you get the billowing smoke. Yes. Is that in there, Michael? Is that under three? I thought it was under... Yeah, that's three C. Three C. Children, yeah, children yeah. waste or garden and yard waste. It's right there. There's a gap there. Uh huh. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, are we okay with this? Yeah. The, and, and discussion's always good. People mm -hmm. have opinions about it, but well, that's yeah. what this is all about. Yeah, right. right. We may have missed something, but I think you guys did yeah. a good job. And this then, this is definitely course, a good update. Yeah. So, under five. And if it needs to be paused, it'll happen after, you know. Uh, basically, we're just going through first reading. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so under five, there also there are different things, training and other things that yeah. have to have written permission from the fire chief. Mm -hmm. I like that. So like if there are EMO um, exercises, exercises or, or something, then the police department just need to be requested mm -hmm. before it goes ahead, right? So are we okay with this? We're ready mm -hmm. for the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you, folks. Next, we have ratification of an electronic vote. Can I have a motion, please? Do you want to do that one, uh, I'm looking for it because I'm. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the council ratifies the electronic vote awarding the contract for the 2023 20. 24 fiscal year to Alicia. Is it Siddler? Siddler. Monroe in the amount of $10,395. And that would be the Guardian contract? Mm -hmm. so they would barely tender. Do we have a seconder? I'll second. All right. Any discussion? Are you ready for the question? Uh, yeah, you ready for the question? Yeah, I'm not going to discuss. I'm just going to post one. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Nay. Nay. One nay vote. Would you like that recorded? Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So that's the end of the motions. And now we go on to the other items on our agenda. Thank you, folks. So next we have uh, the healthcare testing terms of reference. I think that's the next one. Yes. On the amended agenda. Okay. I didn't talk about that. Oh, maybe it's yeah. tab 16. Okay, it's a separate tab. Yes, yes. Uh, so Crystal loaded it up separately. Oh, sorry. No, 16 is your report. She loaded it up separately. It's all attached. Oh, it's all attached. Yes, right. Tab 16. Yeah. Okay. So basically, um, I'm hoping that Paula, you're just going to talk on this one. Yeah, sure. I'll talk on this one. So just to bring this to your attention, a quick overview. Um, the task team was established. I brought it to your attention and you gave me permission. I've established a task team to address the um, decreasing health care services in our town and local community. Obviously, we're all aware of that. From that task team, uh, we have come back with our terms of reference and also a letter that we have drafted to show you what we think could be sent to the province from this town to address specific concerns about our reduced healthcare services in our town. Um, so I'll just go to the terms of reference and I'll just run through them. Um, so the first part of it is the overview. Um, residents of Annapolis Royal deserve reliable access to efficient healthcare that delivers optimal healthcare services to residents and visitors of all ages. 
So I'm not going to read that word for word, but that's basically what are the mandate is of the task team. Um, as I say, we've had four meetings so far. One of them was with our MLA and a local physician to give us background information about what's happening with our healthcare system at the moment. Our second meeting, we invited uh, a local pharmacist to come and talk to us about what's happening with the pharmacy delivery of services to our community. And we've also met twice. We've done a lot of work. We have realized that this is a huge task, bigger than the task team, which is an informal ad hoc group. And this is not a problem that's going to go away. This is going to be with us for a long time. Now, the task team is not going to come up with solutions, but can at least bring information to council. Um, if we were to become a fixed, permanent, standing advisory committee, similar to the accessible committee, the environment committee, we would be more formalized um, and would be able to continue with more of what we've done so far, but on a bigger scale. Um, so yeah, so the terms of reference, have you had time to review them? Do you see anything in here that you'd like to change? So we've basically done the first part. We reviewed and commented on the province's action for health strategic plan. And our MLA took that to um, the legislature and we were able to give him feedback about that and specific questions that really helped. So we did that. Um, we also uh, commented on the letter that we endorsed that came from the town of Middleton uh, to the province. So we've done that as well. Um, also, like I say, we've come up with a draft letter for consideration to go from this council. Um, We've realized that there's a lack of education in our community. People don't understand how the urgent treatment center model works. They don't know what the pharmacies, the pharmacists can do in town. Uh, there's just a general level of anxiety and unknown that I think as a town, we can address that by having a standing committee. We can be a model for other municipalities to follow our lead and uh, we can help make a difference. So, yeah, so I've kind of rambled on a bit there. Any questions so far? <laughs> and I'll just add in there that we also have the response from the Middleton letter. Right. And did, and did you get a chance to send that to the task team yet? Because I know I just sent it to you like this week. I yes, think. I did. Uh, and not everybody's responded yet. Yeah. Because um, it was a quick yep. turnaround. So, and. And that letter has also been sent out to council, mm -hmm. the response that we received. So. so I have some comments for you, but I'll let the others go first. So Mike. Yeah, I was going to comment. I think the, what you proposed here is excellent. The concern that the only concern that I have with the standing committee mm -hmm. is our, the catchment for the healthcare thing is beyond our borders. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's like, a task team or a standing committee of town kind of represents the citizens of town. Right. This this is bigger than us, mm -hmm. so it's kind of hard to. It'd be nice to see. I don't say like a board of trade kind of thing, but it's a, it's an area mm -hmm. committee or organization or group that has to take in these catchment areas that I don't think a standing committee of town does. Right. I think we need to be involved with whatever forms up, but I think it has to be open to the other areas as well, right? And we, you get, I don't know, if the recommendation came from the, that standing committee, we come to us as a kind of, this is what we see for educating town people, mm -hmm. right? Which we would say, great. But we're not going to say, I can't say, well, we should educate the Keel and Granville Ferry and the other areas that are in this catchment. That's that would be my only hesitation about that. Right. I, I just talked to that because the urgent treatment center catchment area um goes like I think it's Maitland Bridge, um, goes all the way to Middleton, Digby, like there's a large catchment area. So 
the people who not only live in our town, but also live in our surrounding community are affected by the healthcare services that are delivered in this area. Mm -hmm. So just like the Environment Committee, um, what we are hopefully going to do to protect our town, um, we can't just protect our town. Like it's going to affect the county, it's going to affect Granville Ferry, all the way down to Port Wade, you know, Carsdale. We're all affected by rising sea level, just like we're all affected by reduced healthcare services. So it, True. And we also have a member of the county council on our environment advisory committee as well. So there's collaboration there as well, which is something that we could do with this standing committee. Well, it should be a joint right. county, town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And what would be, how would we develop that? Because I do think that the county should be definitely included mm -hmm. and a counselor from the county should sit. Well, we're representing our... But working together and yeah, everybody has to work together. But when you when you come and say, okay, we'd like to do this for our residents, we want to do some sort of education piece, right? We're gonna mm. basically thinking about our residents. I'm not thinking about county residents. So it it needs to be that joint thing. I think that's important because you you that's just my thoughts. So, yeah. And, Other than that, I think it's fantastic. And would you say one of the bigger problems is lack of information as to where people are supposed to go when they do have an emergency? Like what, you know, if you was to, you know, put some information out there now mm -hmm. to help, mm -hmm. uh, would that be a huge It would be a hurdle? Huge, like, no, be you know, like they're not, you know, the lack of communication between uh, our urgent care center and Digby's Emerge mm -hmm. and uh middletons and who's open and who's not and where do i go and what should i do should i call 911 people don't want to call the ambulance because they're scared they're going to have to pay money and there's this whole well, fear yeah. there really is a, a huge fear as to they just don't know what to do i was surprised to see 23 percent uh don't have a family mm -hmm. doctor and was that in our town or in the catchment in the catchment i think it's in the catchment okay yes so I don't know how that would work, look, but I definitely think same thing with the pharmacy. Like, mm -hmm. There's in pharmacy, and... pharmacy, there's ours. What are each of them able to do? How do you get that information out to people? Right. And that's what the, the pharmacist that came and talked to us, it was uh, Krista McClure. Mm -hmm. So she explained that there is information about how, what the pharmacist can and cannot do. Um, but it's it's difficult to get that out into the public. So mm -hmm. after after she spoke with us, we talked as a group and we talked about we have the hub. We have we have a, a means, to, we have a location. There's a there's a need to get the information out there. We can do information sessions. There's another uh, hurdle of onboarding people onto the virtual curve. People don't know how to use oh, virtual yeah. curve, they just don't know how to sign on. So that came directly from our MLA. You know, there's a need to educate people and yeah. show them how to sign on to virtual care. I always thought and there we be. in four meetings we have just scratched the surface. There's mm -hmm. so much more we can be doing. So thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you wanted to say something? I just I just have a concern. I think this is all great information, but I don't want this to come down to add on to staff's responsibilities because mm -hmm. staff don't wouldn't like healthcare is a provincial or a federal initiative and and I don't want to see municipal government now being responsible like I understand that there's a need for education and stuff but I would not have the staff here to support all of this extra work as long as the committee or the the group understands that that they would be responsible to do all the workshops and all of the education sessions and all of that right. we can put stuff in in the newsletter mm -hmm. which that that is like an easy thing but mm -hmm. if, if people think that they can start coming here to get registered for virtual yeah. care and stuff yeah. like that then that's like a a line that i absolutely would think that yes. our staff could not handle and that's a reasonable thing to say and no the, it, it would not be dependent of town yeah. hall yes okay. Yes. Okay. yes okay just one quick thing um the group from Middleton or up the line that came and talked to us. Mm -hmm. And then there was that other lady that is in our area that mm -hmm. kind of works and helps coordinate and is looking mm -hmm. for 
new recruitments, new doctors. Mm -hmm. And would they be someone you could talk to to set up meetings or to work with and see if maybe she could do an information center? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're right on the ground level. Like they should we're getting away from the terms of reference so so a task team isn't established until council establish mm -hmm. it it requires a terms of reference right. so just want to bring them back to this mm -hmm. okay. i had some comments mm -hmm. and uh, i liked i liked the mandate in the beginning part of no trouble mm -hmm. under a um I, I don't think it should be limited to concerns because if something's working it should be reinforced mm -hmm. so it, it shouldn't be established just to critique something should be also to say this is working well, or you know what I mean. And so, um, and it's not for the information of the MLA; it's for the information of council. Right. Because council deals with the MLA, so you could combine A and B. Because I think anything, for example, council did not see all the questions that went right, no. and doesn't know what not was said. You know, no. so that should be okay. Okay. Uh, C. I I don't think the Middleton thing should be mentioned here at all. You know, that was a one off. We didn't have terms of reference, and we've had major pushback from Middleton, as you can see. Uh, mm -hmm. All the mayors were going to have to get together and discuss what we're going to do. That's Mayor Matar, which right. is a good thing mm -hmm. that came out of this. And uh, also, I don't think uh, D has to be in because council will draft a letter. You know, if anybody recommends us to do something, of course we look at it. Right. So I don't think that needs to be there. Well, that was just to that these these are just items that have been right, accomplished. Right. But okay. yes, but I don't think those need to be in. Like to me, they kind of detract from the main thing, which is A. Okay. Which is great. And then what's E? Engage in healthcare consultation to understand. Perfect. Mm -hmm. that could become a new B. Identify needs, opportunities. That's great. Um, but determine whether a standing healthcare advisory committee is needed. To me, that's totally premature because of the response we got from Middleton. I think okay. I think we need to go to, New York need to deal with, okay. because Middleton basically told us road to lunch, all the people who signed on. So, I, and I've gone through all the things that they've said, and I find the Middleton letter, or the help letter, I mean, it didn't tell me anything. No. It didn't respond to anything. Right. But I think the elected officials have to start with, this is where we're at, mm -hmm. they responded. So I like the terms of reference. I just thought that they needed some tweaking. I would not feel comfortable at this point sending a letter because I think we have to deal with the response that came right. from yes. So they're saying we didn't go to information sessions that they had in New Minus or Middleton or February 6th. I don't even know. Right. I have to do homework to figure out what they're talking about. No, I have no idea. And I'd like to check in with the other. So for me to sign a letter right now, I don't know enough to, or to even suggest that I could sign a letter. No. And council would have to agree. And exactly. Okay. Well, I mean, we were asked to do it, so we did yes. it. But yes. we'll just yes. put it on the side for now, because in the meantime, that Middleton letter did come in. But, well, okay. I think council needs to deal with the letter that came from. So I think we need to deal with this. Okay. And it's not to say the letter won't be appropriate. Okay. But... I just think that we need to approve a terms of reference first. I don't know. Let the other members of council wait in. That's just my opinion. That's just one person. So. And so, yeah. and when you keep you refer to the letter from Middleton, but it's the let the response from Nova Scotia. Response from Nova Scotia. Okay. So, yes. I was like, so I apologize. No, just for clarification, Thank right? So, yes. Mayor Atkinson had asked the town to support the letter mm -hmm. um, for the closure. Yeah times in the Middleton Hospital. And we had the five CAOs. So we had Mayor Murtart from Kings County, mm -hmm. um, Mayor Clark from um, Berwick. Berwick and Mayor Atkinson. Mayor Atkinson, and then us and Warden Morrison from the county mm -hmm. all agreed to support the letter that went from the town of Middleton to the Middleton, re regarding the Middleton closures that were coming more consistent being closed for their um, outpatient services. So the letter came back from Tanya Nixon. Nixon. And mm -hmm. from, from Cheryl Pugh, is that Pugh? Yeah, yeah, from the Western Zone, um, Nova Scotia Hub. Um, and that basically said that the five mayors and the warden should get together yeah. um, and have a meeting with Nova Scotia Hub before mm -hmm. we proceed. Yeah, well, I think that's a great so, idea. Yeah. Well, this just came in on Thursday. Yeah, it? exactly. Yeah. And then I just, and I got back and then from the station yeah. and then I sent it to um, yeah. Councillor Acting just yeah. like maybe yesterday. I'm not sure. So yeah. that's a great it start. Wasn't, yeah. 
with some place to start at least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Okay. So what do you want to happen with the healthcare task team? Do you want us to continue to have meetings? Do you have any direction? Do you want us? Well, I think the direction from council would be approval of terms of reference. Okay. Yeah. And normally council would, would uh, okay the formation of one, like who's going to head it up. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you've thought about composition, but who's going to head it up. So normally when council accept a task team, I'll just give the NSPI team, mm -hmm. team one because that was an easy one. So basically they agreed to establish a task team and, and this person was in charge of it. Mm -hmm. That was, that was yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was, <laughs> we put Sandy in charge of it then. Okay. So it's just to know who would be mm -hmm. the leader of it. And yeah. Okay. So the chair, okay. And review these terms of uh, reference. Make them amendments. Well, uh, basically, we're all here in the room, so uh, so it's up to you mm -hmm. or up to the team to mm -hmm. consider the input it received and what it wants to do. I think I think Michael's point was dead on about uh, we can't move unilaterally because mm -hmm. we're a population of five thirty, and we can't. And how do you how do you move well knowing that you've got these thousands of people over here? Mm -hmm. So I think that it's right we have to talk to the neighbors. Right, absolutely. And that could be part of the we mandate of this, of this task team is to reach out to county members. That to be and actually, that would be so very helpful very work for the yeah. task team to do. Yeah, that would be very helpful. Okay, so if the, if the mandate states that there's six members, eight mm -hmm. members, maybe one has to be a doctor, maybe one has to be a, mm -hmm. a pharmacist, maybe two have to be county counselors. So like, it's going to be hard for them to... Right, but yeah. you know, just the that's an example of, and maybe one needs to be doctor retention from either of the groups or like Brianna Hall, for example. Yeah, okay. yeah. So in that case, it sounds like the establishment of this group is now going further beyond task team, and it's going to standing committee. Not really, no, no not really? at this point, no, because you're still there's, there's no you still you still have to figure out like okay. who are you going to work with, right? Okay. So I, I would say if you're just. We could establish a committee, but then mm -hmm. council has complete control. Council calls for resumes, and then mm -hmm. we're into a whole public process. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're there yet. We're kind of. Okay. A, it's nice to have a group of people interested, committed, uh, thinking about it, and sussing out who right. who you can work with. Like that's the, the beauty of it. Okay. You I think it's easier for you to partner with others. Yeah. All right. For your task team. Then. Okay. Then. So we'll just keep moving forward and take all of these recommendations and work with those and. Uh, and from our level, like I will deal with the others. I waited till tonight's meeting because I do have to seek direction from council. You know, my next step, it seems to be that we need to have a conversation. Yeah. Okay. Well, the next meeting, I'll let you know the, the date of the next meeting and everybody's welcome to join in. Uh, okay. Come along. Mm. I would, I would, if, yeah. it's, if it's not. No way. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, good. You don't want to. Zoom in. No, um, and the letters we've written so far in healthcare were all written right. by Alan Parrish and I, mm -hmm. the predecessor ones. And I have to say, the response we got to this, to Middleton's mm -hmm. letter, is very similar to the response we got there, which was essentially a non response mm -hmm. because it was the response was too vague, really. To so we're not we're not getting any we're not getting any further either politically at this point. Mm -hmm. So we kind of have to get the I, I, a larger group of mayors can't be just two mm. together because we we all have the same issues. Yeah. So is this council fine with Mayor Boyer um, going to a meeting with all of the mayors mentioned? Oh yes. Um, yeah. Definitely. To kind of make a meeting with Nova Scotia Health and Tanya Nixon. Mm -hmm. And I'll mention the task team. Yeah. And mm -hmm. The terms of reference that they're discussing. Yeah. And if you need someone to go with you, I'll be available. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. That'd be, yeah, I think that's yeah. reasonable. Reasonable, yeah. So that's good. Okay. So good discussion, good work from the mm -hmm. task team. Mm -hmm. It's a great group of people. Well, that is great. Okay. They're working. Yeah. Yeah. Build Nova Scotia funding update. Um, so last night, uh, the Marketing and Economic Development Committee had a, a little um, Meet and greet. I can't remember. Uh, uh, yeah, public info information remote. session. Yeah, yeah, it was and, good. And um, one of the topics on the discussion was um, a grant that 
and Naples Royal Refresh has been approved for a grant for $60,000. Yay! So that um, is great. Um, we applied for this grant last year under um, Develop Nova Scotia. The town applied for a grant and the Board of Trade applied for a grant and Build Nova Scotia at that time asked us to both work together. Um, so we're pleased to say that there's four different partners in this one grant under Annapolis, Annapolis Royal Refresh. So it's the Board of Trade, the Farmers and Traders Market, the Town and Arrow all working together. Um, so um, we received $60,000 and, and we're gonna get started on that in the area that they are focused on is the work the Farmers Market and activating those areas. So wow, great. So this is where you guys determine the specifics of the details yes so now we'll probably um i missed the last meeting um because i was away um so i think the meeting is next tuesday and the group will i think set a public meeting date to get the public out and see what their thoughts are thoughts are and what direction they want to go in and, That's good. and uh, move forward from them I wasn't there, but I heard very good feedback about the meeting. Oh, good. Yeah, it was very good. Each of the it presentations was, was very good. Yeah. 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 It was very entertaining. Some <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice way to get started, right? Yeah. yeah. There was yeah. That's mm -hmm. really Lovely. That's great. We've dealt with the own things. So on to correspondence. So I'm not sure that we can call it citizens group correspondence mm -hmm. because we mm -hmm. don't have a group. And well, that's what the letter was signed have, up on. But it, what we have is an anonymous note, one page note, um, and it's it's anonymous. And <laughs> so council can choose to deal with it or not. Yeah. Um, was it? So uh, I would just, the the yeah, oh, yes. no, I read it. So uh, I would just like to say that we received this letter, but there is no way to respond to the well, question. That's what I was say. And there is no group that we're aware of or even a person. No, but and at any time, if anybody has any questions, I hope they feel free to come in and phone staff or talk to staff and, and get clarification mm -hmm. on anything. They talked about um, smoking. Well, we have a no smoking in our vehicle policy, so staff are not allowed to smoke in any um, town-owned vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, we do have, they do get staff breaks to smoke on. One of the questions was the number of public works. So we do have more public works staff now. We do have three plus a half of mm -hmm. a director of public works. So that, you know, that is true. We do have more staff than in the previous. Um, and we, um, I can't remember what one of the other comments was. Spending about. money. Spending money, yeah. The budget it, meetings it, are all <laughs> open to the public. and The information is there if somebody wants to. Take a moment and look. Well, yeah. a person a person could ask a question, and the answer would be yes. Yeah. 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 So and I think so. enough said on this. Point. And hopefully, the new engage page where we're trying yes. to put it's something things on one spot, easy access. That yeah. Hopefully, people. But as always, if you please contact town hall if you're looking for correct information. Thank you. So that will be the yes. If you would like to know, contact the source. Okay. Thanks for that. And we have a flood risk extension, flood risk infrastructure investment program. It's an extension for the report. Yes. yes. So hopefully now that we have the extension, we can do some of the ground penetrating work along the boardwalk. And um, it also give co the contractors more time to mm -hmm. source out some of the information they received at that public meeting that we had a couple months ago. Um, and then they're going to do another update to that report um, with the information that they have um, looked for. That looked for it. Yeah. So that's great. That was great. That that's we good news that we got the extension. Yeah. That allows us to keep grant money, which is great. Yeah. And then you have an update from Nova Scotia Power on what they've done since uh, the letter from the URB asking them where they are. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's for your information mm -hmm. as well, showing that things are happening. Okay, and then we dealt with the request from JP. Mm -hmm. So we're on to the round table. I'll go first simply because you've got my written report. Mm -hmm. So I'll just add, there's only two things I need to add. Speaking about the doctors being in town, I was asked by Ann Crowell to show up. There's a fundraiser at the Legion on uh, April 1st. 
It was a fundraiser. They were using the Legion of Fundraiser. It was for the Port Royal Lighthouse. Mm. So being put on by that group. And the physician recruitment group led by Ann Kroll decided to show up with 18 people at that fundraiser. So oh. yeah, the Legion, the Port Royal group, the physician recruitment, and then I was asked to show up. So I was going to, I have, we had our tickets anyway, so we showed up. So it was like three events going on. The Legion had the bar open. They had people doing takeout that were in, enjoying the bar. Yeah. You had uh, the dining room on the other side with people coming in for takeout and also eating in the small dining room. And then the big lobby area, you know, off the uh, club part was full of people from countries that I don't even know where they were from, but 18 people, children and told everything. Yeah. So just to let you know on the physician recruitment side, it was a great event. And of course, with the sad passing of um, our deputy mayor, I had help from uh, the CIO was here. Uh, sorry, not the CIO, the director of finance. I'm sorry, she was away. We had the director of finance, Mark Kane was here, and Ken Knox. And I really want to thank them because uh, between us, we managed to get to get her the media release and yeah. get it run by the family. So that's my report. So now on to Councillor Hatton, you're next. I don't really have anything to report. Um, so nothing, nothing this right, Councillor Sanford. I just assumed you did. I, oh. I don't. I don't either. No, other than I think we're all feeling. Yes. Uh, this was a hard meeting. It's, mm -hmm. It was hard not to have our deputy here, and she was just. She was amazing. We're gonna miss her. Yeah. So sad. Um. The funeral on Saturday was beautiful. And I think she would have been very pleased with the way it was done. It was very much like that, uh, you know, very direct to the point. You know, it was, it was lovely. Um, the meeting, the meeting greet that we had last night for with medic and the I think it was twelve present presenters or things they presented on. Um, I thought was very good. Um, it was something that I think we used to do, and now we brought it back a little bit, and we're not in the COVID, and we actually get to talk to people and see what their ideas are and what's around us. We've had one gentleman that's not down, but he has a the outdoor adventure uh, business that's you know down down towards Victoria Beach. So I thought that was really good. It was a decent turnout for it. Um, yeah, I. Yeah, that's all I said. That was, that was, that was I don't, you know. Good. We'll see here. Miss Pat. Um, yeah. Yeah. So good. We're not going to get over her. That's all I, I should have just said. I'll miss Pat. That's all I have to say. <laughs> and on that sad note, but good note, because it was a lovely send off. Mm -hmm. um, I'll entertain a motion to go into the camera. Now, just before we do that, I should point out that the IMS. The IMSA interim board meeting is on the 10th while I'm away. Sorry, the 19th, I can't remember. While I'm away, and uh, that would normally be the deputy mayor in my absence. So if you can attend that on the 19th, it's at 9 a.m. I usually did it by Zoom, but you can go in person as well. So if that's okay, I will uh, inform them that you're the alternate for that meeting. Sure. Okay? All right. Great, thank you. So, motion to go on the camera. And how many people joined us today via uh, YouTube? YouTube. <laughs> I don't know. Where, where, where. I school. Anyway, I'm going to say good night, folks. Bye. Good night, nice. folks. Thanks for joining us. And we'll uh, be going to camera once we get a motion. Oh, awesome. Do we have a Sorry. All in favor? Aye. Aye.